Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2, where today John Coleman and I celebrate Michelle Fabrica, our love and relationship <laughs> coach. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Art. Hi, John. Yay! Hi, Michelle. Celebration! Yay! Yay! We're <laughs> celebrating! <laughs> hey, Michelle, um, one of the things that I keep hearing about in uh, society, social media and, and right. advice columns, things like that, people, uh, is confidence. you got to be confident. You know, uh, uh, it's not just in business talk, either. Um, people say this about your personal life, your relationship. You have to be a confident person, confident in love, confident who you are. But, you know, I, I, too much confidence can't be good. It be, it really leads to arrogance. Yeah. So where, how do you balance out all this advice that we're getting in society about being confident, right? <laughs> how do you balance that out so we're, 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 uh, we're not arrogant about you know, I want it my way, and we, this is the way it's got to be because I'm confident, you know. Yeah, 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 I think that's true. I mean, I think we, we do hear a lot about confidence, and it is it is an important quality to cultivate. I mean, certainly dating, right? People talk about, oh, you know, you got to be confident when you're dating. Um, and we want to feel comfortable with who we are, and um, we want to, you know, we want to others to respect us and treat us with kindness. And sure, I'm yes, I'm all for that. However, I would say the balancing quality is probably humility, right? And I think some of us don't think much about that. Maybe you think of it in like religious contexts or something like that, but, or people think of humility as weakness, as something to like to hide or avoid. Um, and so I think some of us maybe have been hurt and we only want to exhibit our best side and not reveal, you know, our softer underbelly. Well, you bring up a good point, I think, and that is, um, you know, humility is often uh, often misinterpreted as uh, shyness. Or weakness. As, uh, or weakness. Or a weakness, yeah. Mm. yeah. Right, or being really negative on yourself, like putting yourself below other people or something. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, some of the most impressive people I have ever met are, were, hum were humble. They were humble people. They were, you know, exalted in business. They were, you know, CEOs or presidents and uh, uh, political leaders. But it's rare. <laughs> but when you find somebody who is, I'll call it in an exalted, some some kind of important position, you know, um, you find that person, and they're also humble. They have a great perspective on life, and it's not all about them, you know. That's right. That's right. I think that's... another another phrase for that might be self-abasing. Uh, yeah. Uh, where where mm -hmm. I remember yeah. when I was in the military, uh, the the people that I would follow the easiest were the people who genuinely say, you know, what you could do, I can't do. I can't do it as well as you. Okay, and I really appreciate that. They, that's the kind of language that we use. Uh, yeah. So as opposed to saying, well, I'm the best at everything, so you watch what I do, and then you follow what I do. And if you don't do that, then you're just, you know, not worthless, but that sort of gives you that feeling. So somebody yeah. who's uh, self-effacing, who's humble about, well, not the, I have the position, but I succeed because you help me succeed, and they're sincere about mm. it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that um, I, I totally agree with you. And there's something about the quality of someone who's well respected or, um, you know, very competent in their field who also has, has this humility. And I think it's a beautiful quality in a human being. It's sort of seeing all of us humans like on par with each other, you know, really honoring and respecting each of our, you know, full humanity, right? And I think that the interesting thing about it is that it also brings that real connection and it kind of helps us build an authentic relationship because it basically says, you know, we feel, you know, whole and complete and we're also open to learning and growing and willing to be vulnerable and to listen deeply to another person and to be, you know, like to not know something. Um, one of the things I think is, um, and I work on this myself as a parent, it's like, it's, I think that's a quality for us parents to always be cultivating. It's like humility in terms of 
how we relate to our adult children or even our not so adult children, right? I mean, our grandchildren, whatever, like to really see what are they bringing here? What, what wisdom do they have that I could be open to learning? Yeah. Well, it's also, I think, admitting, and this is where the balance between confidence and humility uh, is very difficult, um, which is probably why we don't see, see it very often. Uh, but it's it's difficult to admit uh, when you're in a particularly when you're in a position of authority, you need that confidence. You, you're constantly told to be confident that people will follow the leader if you're confident. But you also need to have a realistic perspective, not only on yourself, but on the people around you. And that's that's humility, I think. Mm hmm. Yeah, and we can still be assertive and be humble. We can, you know, want people to treat us a certain way. It doesn't mean we're a doormat for other people, right? It means that we're open to who this person, you know, is, or are we making some quick assessments and judgments about them, right? Yeah. Are we open to feedback from others, especially the people that we respect and care about, you know? And are we trying to understand them and bring empathy um, or do we quickly defend or dismiss other people? So that's part of how we can cultivate our own humility is to be really be listening to another person and be willing to like, I, I, I can learn something new here. And yeah. it, doesn't, it doesn't take away everything that you already know, right? It can just add to it. So I think the people who are really, you know, top of their game, so to speak, are always willing to receive New information, right? The world is changing all the time. So, um, yeah, I, I, um, I think this is a fun, fun idea, even though it sounds a little boring, maybe. But um, no, it's, yeah. a, it's, you know what? I, I think it's an important concept, uh, humility, and uh, there isn't enough of it in the world. I have one. I can't remember the quote exactly, but I there was some very famous business leader, um, CEO, famous guy. And he said his his, um, his key to success was surrounding him with people who were much better than he was. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. And I thought to myself, or smarter than he was or whatever, more accomplished than he was. And I thought to myself, that not only is really smart, but it's that's humility. True. Yeah. And it's also true. Yeah. Actually, I, yeah. I, I'll think of many people I've worked with or that I've admired. Um, like, uh, you know, uh, Warren Buffett sort of lives by that, even though he may not have used that phrase, because he, he doesn't buy companies to run them. He wants buys companies that are well run, so he doesn't have to go mm -hmm. in there and throw a management team in there. Uh, yeah. And they're better at doing their job than he would be. He's just better at picking all these people and knowing who the right people to pick are. So yeah. he's got that. So you know what? I think I'm going to name this file, uh, John. Uh, when you get to see it later after we do the post-production yeah uh, uh, humility the ultimate in confidence something oh, like that <laughs> i like it i like it and michelle always great advice a wonderful perspective uh not only on relationships which of course uh this is all about but it's also on just living our lives and being better people thank you for more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.